Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got one of those dip systems to share with you. Anna from EC Cosmetics sent this to me for review, and it came with the little pot of powder, and mine is number 52. It's like a green with some iridescent shimmery goodness going on in there. And then you've got a base coat, and then an activator, and a top coat. Now when mine originally came in, I, my top coat came and it I could screw, unscrew the lid, but the little plastic uh, tip with the brush on it was stuck down in there and the top coat was all solid hard. And I got in touch with Anna and she sent me another one quickly. So I'm ready to demo these today. Now normally you would prep your nails. You would clean them, make sure they're free of any lint, dust, and oils lotions and that kind of thing and then you would start in with your base coat well since this is my first time using it i'm gonna i've got to peel off a base coat and i've got two coats of unt base coat on here on my nails we're ready to play with it and i'm just gonna get everything out and open and ready to to do so i'll be right back all right i'm gonna be starting with the base coat and just putting, I'm gonna do one nail at a time. And this is rather thick looking, so I'm gonna do just one layer of this. Trying to keep it all nice and even, and I'm trying not to get it up on my skin because I don't wanna have to clean anything up. And some sticky, sticky stuff. I did manage to get a little bit over here, so I'm gonna give that a swipe. Now I know a lot of the YouTubers have, have demoed this, and you know, mine's not gonna be anything groundbreaking or anything, but I've got that, that coat in there, and you, it's a dip powder, so I'm gonna dip it down in there. Kind of tap it to get it up to the top. Tap, 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 try to get some of that down back into the jar. I am working over a paper towel today. I've got a little soft brush. This came in that little gel kit from Model Ones. And you don't want to brush it too hard because you'll end up, you know, wiping it off. But you want to get some of that excess off of there. And then we go in with another coat of the base coat. And you just do this until you get the opacity that you're, you're looking for. And I'm just showing one nail. <laughs> like I said, I'm definitely gonna do this one at a time. Now this doesn't appear to have gotten anything on the brush, so I think it's okay to go back into its little holder. Dip in. No, oh, making a mess. I'm glad I'm working over a paper towel. Because <laughs> in that way I can get that back in the jar. <laughs> All right, we're gonna brush it off again. And I think I'm gonna do one more coat. Everybody I've watched done, has done like two to three coats. Um, <clears throat> but I think this is neat, you know, neat stuff. Here we go, we're gonna put another coat of this on. salvaging here. Okay. A little lumpy looking, but that was my very first one. I did not play with these off 
off camera. So I'm going to close that one up and then we're going to use the activator. Oh wow, that's real, gr I mean it's it's not even like polish, it's like a just a liquid like alcohol or something. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll head on to the next step. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I'm trying to get the cap off the top coat. It's a little stuck. So, I'm going to have to get my little twisty thing out and open it. If I ever find these twisties, I will make a video devoted to just it. These are amazing and they're just unfindable. Okay, my lid's totally stuck. So, I'll kind of pop that plastic cap and then screw it back down so that it's up into the cap and I can, you know, know that it's not going to fall out while I'm doing this. I am applying that one coat of the top coat to this nail I have done. I do the rest of them off camera. I'm going to show you I'm going how I'm going to put these away. I'm going to clean the neck of this bottle with some acetone to get anything that is on it off. I do not want to seal this bottle up and never be able to open it again. So this is my way of get, making sure I can get into this again. Um, just screw it on. I'm doing this to the base and the top coat, but not the activator. The activator wasn't sticky, so I'm not worried about doing it. But I am going to do it to both of these. Like I said, this is a good idea. You could do this to all of your polishes. You know, the necks of our polish bottles get very dirty, very sticky. We've all had it happen. Go to grab our favorite polish, and guess what? Can't open it. It's stuck. So, I don't do that to all my polishes. <clears throat> okay, so a, a rundown real quick. This first one was rather lumpy. The second one got better, but I dinged it. The third one, I went a little light on it, and it's a little streaky, but that was me. It's learning. And the last one was perfect. Just perfect. I love it. So, I really do like this system. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to do some stamping over it. Here comes your bonus. I'll be using this Queen Geo Lover 01, my Funky Fingers Dark Knight, my Clear Jelly Scraper, and my Conad Stamper. I figured if I put some of these wild patterns on my nails, then, you know, it'd take away from my lumpy, thumpy, bumpy thickness. And I was right. <clears throat> I want you to see how good this image kind of camouflages that. It's so busy, you can't see it. Perfect. Perfect. And... I just love it. So I'm just going to put different images on all the nails just to see, you know, because we're playing in Tina's playroom. <laughs> that one's pretty cute. But I really, my final thoughts on this while we're wrapping it up, I really do like the system. I think it's great for people that have like thin nails and don't want to paint their nails several times a week, people that have trouble keeping polish on their nails, I think this would be a really great system for someone that's looking for that kind of solution. So I will leave a link for EC Cosmetics and a link to this product down below if you're interested. And I'm fixing to show you my swatch photos. And wrap it up. Okay, I am back, I am top coated. I use the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat and then topped it with some of the Pro FX Quick Dry. So here is my first stab at the dip powders. I really enjoyed it, I had a good time. I um, will leave a link for this to this product down below, the EC Cosmetics Dip Powder. Um, they've got lots and lots of colors, so you know, you can go pick what you want. And that is it for today. I would like to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.